Alright, let's go. You have a long drive. Hi everyone, it's me again, Mike Salazar from Canyon Fish Aquatics. It's another beautiful day. Today uh, we have a long drive to my friends. Uh, he uh, actually distributes uh, high-end food, which is extreme food. So uh, I heard this extreme food is amazing and can uh, work on every fish. So I'm gonna try it out, I'm gonna order a lot, and I'm going to his place. All right, follow me. Okay, all set for navigations. See you soon, my friend. Okay, everyone, we're in the highway now. As you can see, it's filled up with uh, trailer tractors. Okay, right now I'm just filling up a gas. We've been driving for an hour now. As you can see, it's still a beautiful day. Stay tuned. Stopping by for chips while doing the long drives. Okay, what we got here is waiting the kids. They grab something from Timor, Tim Hortons. Coffee for me. What you got? Iced coffee? coffee. What you got, Michaela? Hot chocolate? Yeah. Hey guys, let me toast. What do you have, Mikey? And then Mikey donuts. bought donuts for him. Got a feeling that I'm going under. But I don't let him make it out of life. Mikey, you gotta get Okay, right now we're exiting. Keep right. We're almost there, about 20 minutes. It looks like a farm down here. It's really far, far, far away. Drive almost, 13 kilometers. Almost three hours drive. Okay, we're very close. You have reached your destin. You have reached your destination. Six five eight, right there. I'm so excited. I'm here on uh, my friend's house. Let's go check his house when it's there. He's expecting me anyway, so he won't, he won't be shocked. Hey, hey, how are you, Bobby? Good, man. How's nice everything? Nice to see you. That's yeah, very good. Very good. That's good. That's good. I'm excited that you uh, made the journey here. And uh, come on, let's have a look. All right. All right. I'm here with Bobby G's display tanks. And, and that's an example. This of guy is a monster, wow. 
all fed by extreme food. Absolutely. Look at this Victorian one. Very red. Nice. I finally got here in uh, Babaji's fish rooms. It's so amazing. Look at this food. Wow. It's crazy. These are all the foods that I'm picking up. I mean, uh, most of them. <laughs> I would like to try. <laughs> I gotta order more if you're picking up all that, Mike. Yeah, yeah. wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's very nice. Oh, you have your own channel too. Yes, I do have my own channel. I'll be making a video of my own. I uh, haven't made many videos lately. It's hard to find the time, right? All right. But uh, yeah, I'm so, super pumped that you're here and uh, uh, super pumped about the opportunity for me to uh, distribute uh, this uh, crazy good food. Uh, so yeah, we'll talk about it today. Yes, that's right. Okay, once again, this is Mike Salazar. Um, right now, I'm here with Bobby G's place. I'm very, very glad that he uh, invited me here and pick up the fish. And I also want to see him because I'm so amazed on his fish room. And uh, as you can see in my old uh, uh, previous YouTube for two years ago, I started exactly like this. So right now, I'm going to go through with uh, Bobby G's and see all these uh, fish foods that uh, and all the fish that he fed it with extreme it's so amazing so Bobby how did you come up with extreme food well um, I, I'd say uh, like for years I've used um, you know other foods uh, not to mention which because I don't think that's important uh, but over those few years maybe since a couple of years I knew about extreme, and I was I was adding a little bit into my mix of food, and but I never really uh, took uh, the uh, initiative, I guess, to do an all-out switch to extreme. And uh, I did this fairly recently. Um, I'd have to look back; it might be four months. But uh, I don't sell this food because there might be profit in it, and I don't distribute this food because there might be profit in it. Uh, I do it because I believe in this food. Uh, there's no question in my mind that it's better. Uh, the, the results of using this food, if, if you give it an honest try, which means if you feed it exclusively to one of your tanks or your whole uh, collection of tanks and fish, uh, you will notice a difference, and, and I couldn't believe it actually. Like within three days, you can see there's less waste from the fish. I don't understand wow. how fish can eat and they're not pooping as much. But wow, that's, that's amazing. And then within a week, you will see uh, the glass in your tanks doesn't get nearly as dirty. Uh, the filters don't uh, accumulate detritus and waste as much because there isn't as much and then beyond that uh, you can see for sure in a month that your fish are uh, they're growing it's incredible I'm not just saying this stuff like it's tr the truth they're growing fast and they're colorful and I can't imagine a better food than extreme wow I can't wait I can't wait to use this it's actually my first time as well so I heard about this extremes uh, it will bring all the natural colors and healthy on this fish. So Bobby, would you like to uh, tour me around on your fish room and well, see the improvement of the extreme foods? Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I suppose to best display it, I can't because I don't have tanks that I have only extreme food and then tanks that I have other uh, brands of foods. But uh, I mean, we can look around the room and I mean, you can see uh, we'll show you a few of the tanks, although yes. I don't think this is really a video to promote Bobby G's necessarily, but uh, more so, let's promote Extreme. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> we have zebra plecos in here, you can't see them. Uh, oh, right there. Yeah. Wow. There's there's a, a so, good... So you also feed them with Extreme? Yes, absolutely. Nice. Um, all of these fish get fed Extreme. There's, uh, 
like every single fish. That was um, a nice one too. Yeah, there's some otter points and swallowtails. Uh, uh, you know, without going through all the species, like we, down here we've got, uh, you know, some uh, frontosas, uh, turkis, um, albino medulla white lips. Oh, nice. Uh, we also have a uh, starry night here. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, golden eye or bleak eye, uh, Mar Lambo. And then lights are burnt out up here, but there are some nice fish in there, but we, we can we can ignore them. Uh, They're so nice. nice There's a nice film out there. Wow. Uh, some very small uh, Madoka white lips. Uh, some uh, F1 Chromatochromus uh, truivasi uh, lacoma. Uh, I had a, a wild uh, breeding group, so those are uh, from them. Nice. And uh, yeah, we can just you know we can just scan. We'll be all day if we talk for all my yes. fish, right? <laughs> uh, you can have a look down in here. Uh, you can you also know. visit Bobby here at uh, Cichlid Craze at London area if you need some fish. It's all amazing down here. Nice show mail. Wow. Yeah, these guys are big too. It's hard to tell on the you know with the camera on the video, but you know these are uh, really it's, good size. Good enough. Fish. There's some more in the bottom. In some uh, nice actually, OBs. Uh, uh, pretty, uh, pretty low on stock. Uh, although when people come, they think I have a lot of fish, but this is actually uh, quite low. But uh, like Mike did recently, uh, I am getting more fish in soon. So yes, and we can't wait to fill this up. Yeah, me too. Nice selections. I always love coming down here, especially this is how I started. Right. Yeah, so you know what it's all about, about right? The enthusiasm. And I mean, this hobby, the cichlid hobby, is uh, it's a gripping hobby. You think, oh, I just want one tank. And, and literally, uh, this is what happened, like, and, and maybe you too, Mike. Like, uh, I just wanted a, a one tank. I just wanted to be a hobbyist. This wasn't yes. a dream of mine. Uh, yes. And, but this is what happens, you know. So uh, welcome aboard, anybody that's uh, that's either getting into cichlids or uh, it seems we're always expanding. Correct, and most of us is the same shoes as well. I also started in one ga one uh, gallon on a goldfish, <laughs> <laughs> and that's from there it started from uh, 70, 70 tanks in my basement. Yeah, and probably in quick in a quick time frame too, right? Yeah. Okay, this is what I ordered for Bobby G's. They're about four boxes. Yeah, and it, I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but you'll see when he unpacks this, there's a lot of product in those boxes. So if we start down at this end, I've got, I've got things kind of organized in a, a fashion that, uh, that I think is, is uh, good. So I start with this uh, Nano, and it's a half millimeter pellet. Uh, it's very high in protein, so for uh, uh, small fry this is perfect uh, it's a little big for brand new fry so I just grind it up in a in a, a coffee grinder and uh, it you know it, it's literally in, incredible how fast the fish grow with this food Wow so that's the nano and then the next size up here is the peewee size of course they come in different uh, uh, size containers but uh, this is yeah, it's primarily what I feed my fish, even the large fish. Uh, it's primarily they get this uh, cichlid peewee. It's so easy uh, to feed. Um, it's about 1.5 to 2 mm, right? Yeah, it's, it's one and a half millimeter, uh, pretty much. And uh, yeah, I think a lot of guys are used to feeding that one, one and a half or two millimeter size pellet to their cichlids. So we have a, a various sizes in that. And, uh, you know, from, from the large five pound container right down to, uh, uh, what's that, two and a half ounces. Uh, you know, that would be ideal for somebody that maybe isn't, hasn't tried it yet and they just want to kind of uh, dabble at it. There's enough food in there to feed quite a few fish uh, for long enough that you'll see the difference. Nice. 
Um, and then the fish, uh, the larger fish, making uh, graduate up to a larger pellet. Uh, it, this is big fella, and uh, it's the same formulation, uh, just in a three millimeter pellet. So a lot of guys like to use this for their larger fish. And uh, I'm actually new to the to the uh, big fella. I haven't even uh, tried it on my fish yet because this order just came in. That's good for uh, any South American too, like Dovai. Yeah. They yeah. probably love that. Uh, I, Big frontosas. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm not afraid to feed this fish, or this fish food to any fish. And look um, at this. Then we go uh, to the largest size, is the, uh, the Monster, and it's a 9mm pellet. So, uh, I don't think I have fish. Well, I, I do have some upstairs that would be able to uh, take one of those in, or a couple of those in, and they'd be happy, but a lot of them would, uh, it would be too big. Yes. Yeah. Well, for koi, koi fish, that's uh, yeah. lovely for to feed them. Yeah, and if I get my sheet, I believe they, uh, I'll look here, uh, they have so many, uh, so many foods available that, that, uh, you know, even, that I don't even have yet. Um, but, Anyways, aside from that, um, all right, and then we get to, uh, uh, so that was the monster pellet. Now I've got hat scrapers. Uh, that's perfect for uh, Pleco? uh, plecos and, and uh, catfish. Uh, even your cichlids uh, will enjoy nibbling away at this. Is that mixed with veggie or just pure? Uh... Well, you know what? I'm not an expert on the, on the ingredients yet. Um, it's green peas, fish meal, so it's, it's definitely a, a different formulation than the, uh, than the peewee uh, is, um, but I've, I've read reports and, and seen uh, people review it that are, you know, really excited about using this. That's good. And of course it's available in, uh, it's available in a larger a size, size than this, but yeah. we brought in a, a few sizes uh, and it, you know, even scrapers. a smaller one. Uh, but I, I, you know, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to. Uh, I think today, later today, uh, some of my fish will be nibbling away at that. Nice. I can't wait to do that too on my cutfish. Yeah, it's exciting, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, one of their newest products on the market is this product right here, which is Extreme Nice. Oh. Um, now it has uh, uh, naturally intense color enhancers and it's a slower sinking pellet and so guys might like that um it might they might feel it gives their their fish that uh, swim in the uh, upper or uh, middle uh, area of their tank uh, give them more time to eat but uh yeah i hear great reports about this food and it obviously comes in uh, not as many sizes as the peewee but uh, we have it in in uh, a smaller size just uh, if, if you wanted to try it Cool. Is that the same thing too? Smaller then, size, right? Yeah. Very so small. now, now we've uh, we're we're from here down. We're into flake food, and I have used some of the flake foods, and I I believe they attribute uh, to the coloration of the fish for sure because you're giving them something uh, that they you know they it's not in the peewee formula or not as concentrated anyways. So if we start down at this end, um, I have this large, I had got it previously on an order, uh, the marine flake, and uh, subsequently in this order, uh, we have the krill flake. Uh, and again, I'm not a, an expert yet on the formulation. They may be uh, the same or they're certainly very similar. Actually, that's the best one because that one can go everywhere because it's so, yes. it's flakes. And then if you want to feed them on your cardinal tetras or uh, shrimp, you can just grind it up easy. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I love the, the uh, flake food because, uh, you know, I find it's a little bit difficult knowing how much flake food to feed. But, uh, yeah, like you say, it, it comes in a large flake. But I can go around to all the tanks and, and I just grind it up a little bit and I go for smaller fish, even fry. And then uh, any size is good for the larger ones. The large flakes in, or uh, yeah, it's, 
It's awesome. I really, yeah. really like it. Yes, most most likely it's all-purpose food. Yeah, and so this is their uh, spirulina uh, uh, mixed food, and oh, wow. I, I do use it, and uh, I think it's great. Um, you know, I give my cichlids a bit of a break from from the uh, uh, like the carnivore diet and uh, give them this hopefully to, to uh, uh, you know uh, help prevent Malawi bloat, which is um, correct. You know. Uh, fairly uh, common in the hawk. Yes. Have you ever uh, combined them together, uh, the the uh, stream flakes and then the veggies? Well, uh, of course, sure you could do that. Um, uh, but you know, currently I've, I've been using uh, the spirulina, and then when we get down further here, they're crave uh, community crave blend. Is I mean, the, the fish literally go nuts over this stuff. Now, wow. cichlids will eat food, um, but not like this stuff. They, they're literally going nuts over this food. That's why I'm so excited and I cannot yeah. wait to try this, guys. Yeah, you, you, won't, you, you, you won't believe it. Like, is it, you know, I've heard from other guys, hey, this food, uh, they don't create as much waste and the tanks are cleaner. I thought, well, how can that be? Um, uh, but the short amount of time that it takes to see that difference, uh, it, it's astounding. Wow. Uh, so we get further down here. This is the community crave that I was talking about. And uh, I mean, the ingredients in all of these foods is, is uh, uh, just better quality than anything on the market. This is definitely premium food. So this is look like a, a mix with, uh, mixed with uh, veggie already, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the ingredients are super small there, but uh, they're all on uh, on my website. You can look them up, or uh, you can go to uh, Extreme's website. I, th I think that might be accessible to uh, the general public, and you can look up their, you know, the exact formulations of their foods. Correct. Uh, you know, my experience with it, you know, so far, without really knowing what the ingredients are, that doesn't matter so much to me. It's the results. Yes. And, and I will come to know the ingredients too, but it's the results of it. The proof's in the pudding, it's easy. Nice, nice. Uh, then, uh, yeah, so was, I, we have a lot of, uh, and Mike will too, have a lot of um, uh, different sizes of these foods available for you to purchase. Uh, and I think it's we're back down to where we left off with the, uh, with the pellet food. Wow. Seems like uh, I want to get them all. <laughs> I know. I mean, like, literally, you can't go wrong. And um, if, if you're a skeptic or you're a hardcore believer in, in some brand of food, uh, I think you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your fish to at least give this a good try because uh, uh, it is, it's, it's not even just premium food. It's extreme. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. We end for this one. Hopefully, uh, you, hopefully you like the videos that I interview Bobby G. And thank you very much, you. Bobby, for uh, giving me a time and uh, invite me to your lovely house and lovely fish room. Absolutely, man. All right. I'm gonna buy a lot from him, man. You're gonna see it from stores. I can't wait to um, to try them. Especially, we had a high end fish from Germany, Aqua House Gas. All right, guys, right see you on. later. Right on, bye everyone.